All right, guys, uh, another leadership here uh, video that I, perspective I want to share today. Um, it, it's so amazing that I, I practiced this one particular thing for the last several years and it made such a big impact on um, seeing the results in the, in the in the in the community that you cultivate and you build you know and not even just that but mainly yourself at the end of the day because leadership starts within here right it's not really anything external it's just shaping the way we see the way we practice the way we breathe the way we walk the way we talk um, our thoughts the way we think um, the words we use it's literally so micro and so detail oriented and it's so meticulous and it's such a um you know how you say like invisible practice right because there's, there's really there's a lot of books out there on leadership and there's a lot of techniques and methods but i think if we boil the leadership um practice um down to the fundamental truth it's really just leading within ourselves first and how can how can we practice the internal work there? So enough of that. There, um, I the, the the thing I wanted to share today is be be mindful and catch yourself before you do this, and catch yourself when you actually feel the emotion of wanting to do this. Um, it's calling somebody out. Hey, you messed up here. Let's boil that down. Let's boil that action down. What is that really saying to that person? Hey, you messed up here, right? It's such, it's so parental, 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 parent, whatever. <laughs> uh, so it's so, it comes from uh, our parents, you know, uh, constantly poking at us and saying, you messed up here, look at you, you're no good. You're worthless. You're this and this and that and that. And it's like that magic wand just constantly poking at you. And it's just, it's like, be really mindful of that. That action should be prohibited in, in starting from our generation, from our culture, from our leader, from our organization, from our community. And the practice that I do after, if, if the moment I catch myself wanting to point something out, you know, is I tell the person, you know, hey, you know, we're not here to pick at who's in trouble or figure out who's in trouble or poke at somebody and make you feel bad about yourself. It's just to take live data and say, really, hey, how can we make a change today together, right, together? And how can we make an improvement and, and explain the reason why we need to make this improvement? You know, the, the poking method is is not a leadership role it's a management role it's pushing from the back it's saying hey you know it's kind of like a push in the back of the shoulder you know um it's kind of like you know you feel that emotion of like oh that's not that doesn't feel very pleasant you know what i mean um but how do we instead of poking at somebody or pointing out to somebody that they messed up now the, the leadership approach should be uh something along the lines of you know, asking them, hey, you know, I noticed this, this, and this. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you? Because at the end of the day, leadership is leading from the front. That means you're pulling them. So leadership is a very tough job. It's, it's not an easy job, um, believe me, because it's not easy because it's not in our paradigm. It is not, it's not in our culture. But once we, once we practice leadership, like anything, exercising, you know, um, reading, um, flying a plane, uh, driving a car, driving a car fast. It doesn't really matter. You, the new hobby you're taking, it's hard because it's not in your consciousness. It's not in your, I'm sorry, it's not in your subconsciousness. It's not in, ingrained in you. But when we practice more and more leadership, it becomes easier and it becomes addictive and it becomes exciting and it becomes fun, right? Because we start to cultivate and see a result in this energy and this community and this life that we've cultivated. Um, so, you know, back at this uh, topic is, is be really mindful on, you know, calling somebody out saying, hey, I noticed this about you. You need to do this. Okay. <laughs> That's the kind of tone of voice I hear when somebody talks about, talks at me, not with me. 
right? Talks at me, not with me. So, um, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, to share that practice and that mindfulness awareness, I think it's so powerful because we're really making the change from within and we're really, you know, and practicing it with ourselves first. You know, we practice it with ourselves first of not poking at ourselves, not being hard on ourselves, telling ourselves it's okay. It naturally transcribes externally because that's how the brain is. It works that way. You know, we. Um, that's why many times you hear somebody constantly complain or become negative it's because they're negative about themselves and they complain to themselves as well too you know they make excuses for themselves um it's very inverted it's it's very uh op it's it's very natural you know so i hope this video helps you connect some of your past memories and thoughts um it helps you uh, reminisce on some things gives you share some perspective with you shine some light on some things that were dark before and you know taking taking a different approach taking a different foot you know foot forward um, and leading ourselves from within and then so we can lead our team you know so I hope this video helps you there um, I love you guys take care and I'll talk to you guys on the next video bye